Good morning, this is Judith Allen from Integrated Tats and Body Work. So I just have my microblading done. I did it myself, to myself, uh, three days ago. And some of the uh, myths that say you have to not shower for like 15 days or something, that's kind of like unreal, most especially when you work, right? So if you look at my brows, let's straighten them up and it's really fresh right but I just did it to me so then I can see this is my first pass so if you look at them um, they're not perfect according to me this is thinner than the other one because I do have a scarring over there from um, in the middle of my brows. So I want it to look so then it looks better. And you can see it and I will put it closer. And there you go. So there is um, scarring in the middle of the brows. So it's kind of hard to make it right but I outlined and shaded it in the middle so then it's already been formed but the second pass the second visit that I will do is to correct it and make sure that it will align to the other brows which is this is my good brows as you can see it's also really fresh and that's what it looks like. So that is done Thursday. Okay? Very, very close. Alright. So they said if you have microblading done, you are not supposed to take a shower or get it wet for 15 days or something like that so from that point on from the day I have it I wash my face every day I shower every day and I get them wet it's because it's a natural thing that when you have something that's done for you you always have to clean it to make sure it prevents infection so this is the first pass and it will fade away in the next 10 days so then I will recommend that when you have a microblading then you still have to shower and clean it up so that way you don't get infection in that one. So that will be my recommendation instead of like um, saying that you're not to get it wet so then the, the color will fade away. The main thing is cleanliness is very important because if you're clean, it's safe also. And we can always add another color to it. And um, that's all I can tell you. So I test myself to make sure that I know what you can do and what you cannot do when you have a microblading done or a tattoo done. For me, I... I really need to wash every day or I need to shower my hair, wash my hair, wash my face because it's important that I will have it done, right? So if you look at them, there is my brows. Okay, let me go straight and there you go. All right. And the main thing about these brows, it is symmetrical, but then I like it better than what I'm getting it right now. You think the other one is higher, it's just like I said, I needed to fill in more on the lower, but I needed to heal first to shade on the lower part to make it even on that side because of that scarring right in the middle. 
So I'm basically the test, right? This is only a test for microblading on how to care for your microblading on your brows because it's very important that you clean it because it's safe, it didn't hurt as much, and um, you shower every day to prevent infection. So, if you have any question about microblading, I test it because of the myths that on um, the care procedure that you are not to shower and you not get it wet for 15 days. <laughs> that would be like if you work every day and you have your brows looking like crazy and start scabbing. That is like hygiene kind of issue, right? So then, I clean them up every day. And so, there's no scabbing as of right now. And we'll give you updated by tomorrow and see if anything changes. So that's what it is. No bruising whatsoever. Okay? There's no bruising there. And no bruising over here. This is thinner than the other one because this is my, I will consider, this is not my good brows because of the uh, scarring right in the middle of my brows. The main thing I'm videotaping it is to make sure that on a daily basis I know the improvement of the brows and I should be able to go to work every day because of not everybody seeing that it's scaling or scabbing in my brows. That means uh, they go to trauma. Everything goes to trauma, but I mean, you want to make sure also that when you go to work, you look right, right? And people can see it. Even my son noticed it yesterday. As soon as he get really close to me like this, and he's just like, Mom, did you have your brows done? I'm like, yeah. So, you would know who is the best one, or I mean, you will find out who is doing it and who's not doing it, because I tested myself to make sure that I can show you the healing process of the brows, instead of me just talking that uh, you cannot shower, you cannot do this, or you, you're not allowed to do all the certain stuff. So, tomorrow I will show it again. So that will, this is my third day, and tomorrow is going to be the fifth day. I will see, show you again the brow, so that way you know the healing parts, and it is not, it's a myth that you don't need to shower. <laughs> that is like a big no-no. Because if you have a wound, wound on your arms or any part of your body, the doctors recommend that you clean it every day. Yes, we deposit colors in there, but you have to also make sure that it is clean and it's properly taken care of. Should it all in it, integrated touch. Um, please send us your um, question if you have any question about microblading. And uh, we'll try to answer as the best of our knowledge and also because we tested myself that to make sure that when you have it done it is properly taken care of and it's the right way hopefully we we'll learn something new for the day about taking caring or caring for your micro blading Judith Allen hope to hear from you soon integrated that's and body work like our page an integrated touch and also we have a YouTube channel that um, next week we will show you the process of microblading um, and how I do it and if you look at it this is a natural very very natural look on the brows it not even look like done right so that's how we do it here at Integrated Touch. Judith Allen, hope to hear from you soon. Get a hold of us on our email. Thank you.